Jenny and her boyfriend, Nate, stroll to the streets after attending a Neon Classic concert, Jenny's favorite. They are in a long-term relationship but still clingy and sweet to each other. Blair and Aaron, Jenny's friends, can't help but cringe as they kiss in front of them. Aaron takes a photo of the couple's sweet moments. However, the picture becomes Jenny's souvenir of Nate and their past relationship. At the subway, drunk Jenny shares with a random passenger how her nine-year relationship ended. Jenny landed her dream job at Rolling Stone as a music journalist. With this, she needs to move to San Francisco, and Nate broke up with her because he doesn't want to be in a long-distance relationship. The woman feels bad for Jenny and invalidates Nate's reasons for leaving. Jenny arrives home and spends all the night reminiscing about how she met Nate. They fell in love in college, and she thought they would end up marrying. Soon after graduating, Jenny became a writer, and it came to the point that she was too busy to hang out with Nate. Nate, on the other hand, got tired of their setup, so they eventually grew apart. The next day, Jenny reads an email about the pop-up festival of Neon Classic that night. Jenny rolls on her pillow as she thinks twice about watching it. Meanwhile, Jenny's real estate agent friend, Aaron, who is attracted to her friend Lee, is afraid to confess and make their relationship official. Lee loves to introduce Aaron to her friends, but she declines this. Aaron visits Blair, a social media manager, at her apartment to have her favorite coffee. Blair teases Aaron to Lee, but she denies they are in a relationship. Blair smiles because she believes Aaron is in love with Lee. Blair is lucky to have a sweet and caring boyfriend, Will, however, she is falling out of love. Will has no idea because Blair never mentioned this to him. While Aaron scrolls on Instagram, she is intrigued by Jenny's story. Blair checks on this, and she believes Jenny broke up with Nate. Blair and Aaron are correct when Jenny confirms this. Jenny denies she's hurt, but her tired eyes say it all. To ease the pain, Jenny invites the girls to attend a Neon Classic event because it's been three years since they watched their pop-up shows together. Jenny assures them she has three access passes as a Rolling Stone employee. Blair refuses to go with them because she hates crowded places. Also, she will be presenting an Instagram strategy to her team, so it would be impossible to hang out. However, Jenny insists and offers to pick her up at the office. After that call, Aaron visits Jenny's apartment to check on her. Jenny grooves to the music as she unloads the liquors and chips Aaron bought. Suddenly, soft music plays, which reminds her of her former crush, Matt. Before Nate, Jenny was madly in love with Matt, and she stalked him everywhere. At the same party, Nate noticed her, and he offered himself to make Matt jealous after Jenny saw him dancing with someone. Nate and Jenny fell in love the same night, and that's how their relationship started. Jenny receives a call, and it's all about her Neon Classic access with the girls. Unfortunately, they were not included in the list. Aaron is fine with this and suggests they can drink the whole day in the apartment. However, Jenny is persistent with her Neon Classic thingy, and she wants to attend this. Jenny will turn 30 soon, and it's her final week in New York, so she demands one epic night with the girls before she moves to San Francisco. Aaron agrees, but she doesn't know someone who can give them tickets. Jenny suggests picking up Blair at work and then finding a ticket together. Blair is having a conference with her team at the office. Jenny and Aaron enter the room, but she pretends not to notice them. Because of this, Aaron knocks on the window and tells Blair her aunt passed away. A colleague volunteers to take over the meeting to empathize with Blair's situation. Outside, Blair lectures Aaron for interrupting her and wonders if her aunt died. Aaron tells her Jenny has been drinking champagne all day and she needs them. Blair feels sorry for Jenny and promises to take a day off for her. Blair and Aaron congratulate Jenny for landing a job at Rolling Stone. Jenny proceeds to Washington Square Park, where she recalls memories with Nate. Years ago, Jenny showed her right up to him for the job application at Rolling Stone. Jenny was nervous at first, especially about how he will react, but his face eventually looked proud, and this relieved her. Nate is the first person who supported her dreams even if he was also struggling to discover what he wanted in life. Jenny assured Nate he will figure it out soon, and this made him emotional. Nate's heart is overflowing with love for Jenny, and he inscribed a smiley face with their initials to mark the place as their spot. They also shared a passionate kiss near the fountain after this. Jenny returns to her friends, where Aaron announces that she got three VIP wristbands. Blair doubts taking it since it costs $500 but Jenny offers to pay for them since she got an advance check from Rolling Stone. The girls officially start their date by inviting the health-conscious Blair to smoke and eat carbs. At the restaurant, Jenny notices Matt, her former crush and first heartbreak. Matt greets them in response and asks them if they are also attending Neon Classic. He boasts that his team is doing the event and offers to help them get tickets. Jenny, who is still mad at him for breaking her heart, brags that she works in Rolling Stone and has several connections for the Neon Classic. Matt leaves and tells them to message him if they encounter problems with the show. Aaron lectures Jenny for declining Matt's offer because they can use him if the VIP wristbands fall through. Jenny stands her ground and tells the girls they don't need Matt because everything is fine. 
Aaron suggests Jenny make Matt a rebound in case the tickets fail. Blair, on the other hand, advises her to take time to grieve because it's only been a day since she broke up with Nate. After having a meal, the girls head to Mikey's place, the guy who promised Aaron tickets. Mikey is very accommodating and offers different stuff at his place. However, he seems to go around the bush, so Blair tells him they only need the tickets and nothing more. Mikey awkwardly laughs as he admits that he gave the tickets to his friend, Victor. Jenny is furious after hearing this, so Aaron and Blair drag her outside the apartment. Jenny steals Mikey's liquor in exchange for making them assume. Jenny has no choice but to message Matt. On the way, Jenny hides after seeing Nate's cousin, Hannah, in their direction. Hannah calls her sweetie, but Jenny feels she's only faking it. Jenny doesn't want her to know about her breakup with Nate because she will definitely celebrate. Aaron and Blair cover Jenny, but it's useless because Hannah sees her. She makes fun of Jenny's clothes and calls her one of those people who don't care how they look. After this, she tells Jenny to fix herself because she will send her photo to Nate. At this moment, Jenny reveals they broke up already. Surprisingly, Hannah hugs her and leaves her assistant's contact number if she needs help. Jenny receives a message from Matt about the tickets. This excites her to enjoy the day with the girls and forget Nate. They are about to play rock, paper, scissors to send someone to get the tickets, but Blair offers to do this alone. Blair arrives in Brooklyn to visit Matt in his office. All of a sudden, Matt corners her, and it turns out that something happened to them two years ago out of Jenny's knowledge. Matt knows Jenny is into him, but he likes Blair more than her. Matt flirts with Blair, and she falls into pleasure after several attempts. Meanwhile, Jenny and Aaron stop by Hype's place, their wealthy friend with access to Hype feels sorry for Jenny after Aaron reveals she broke up with Nate. Jenny denies she's hurt, but her sad eyes say it all. Hype invites her to smoke to release everything and think about happy times. Jenny recalls the romantic night she spent with Nate, where they exchanged I love you. Hype can tell Jenny is still in love with him, so he advises her to get back to Nate. To console her, Hype offers a free rent of his colorful clothes for the Neon Classic event. Blair finally has the tickets, but not for VIP seats. Regardless, she immediately exits Matt's office after realizing she cheated on her boyfriend, Will. Jenny and Aaron visit Lee's boutique for last-minute shopping clothes. Jenny tries out discounted stuff while Lee talks to Aaron. Lee pleads with her again to meet her friends on the weekend. Aaron declines because she's not comfortable showing up and announcing to everyone their relationship status. Jenny overhears Aaron talking awkwardly to Lee, so she calls her to the dressing room. Aaron is delighted that Jenny saves her from Lee. Aaron eventually walks out after Jenny teases her to Lee. Jenny is left alone in the dressing room, where she recalls how her relationship with Nate faded. They attended a party, but Nate was furious at Jenny for gluing her eyes on the phone. Jenny was replying to her editor, and she couldn't understand why it made him mad. Nate explained he wanted her to meet his friends, but she acted rude at the club. Deep inside, Nate hated her leaving the city for her dream job at Rolling Stone. Jenny exploded and broke up with him because she was too occupied with his childish behavior. Despite their arguments during that phase of the relationship, they were still able to fix it since they lived together. Blair returns home with troubled thoughts. While she sips wine on the couch, Will shows up in the living area, which freaks her out. Blair spills the wine onto her shirt, but she controls her temper against Will. Will helps her remove the stains and shares that he cleaned her room. Blair is pissed off because she hates when someone touches her things. This fuels her to ask Will if he is still happy with her. Surprisingly, Will admits he's not enjoying the relationship anymore. In fact, he almost cheated on her with an office mate. Similarly, Blair confesses it's a big deal for her to leave their long-term relationship, which is why she stayed. Blair and Will peacefully end everything after this. Blair tells the girls that she finally broke up with Will. Aaron and Jenny know she is falling out of love with him, so they are happy that she did it. Aaron pours a bottle of tequila directly into her mouth while Jenny plays their favorite party music from high school. The girls feel they finally have the freedom to enjoy partying after being single. They put on chic clothes, dance, and drink at the apartment. Hours after, they run out of snacks, so they buy some at the convenience store. Jenny goes to the beverage section, where she remembers Nate. They used to buy bottles of soda in the same store, and this makes her emotional. Apart from this, the Dreaming of You song plays, and she starts singing. Aaron notices her sad eyes, so she tries to pull her outside the store. However, Jenny chooses to remain and feel the moment. The store owner becomes furious when Aaron and Blair join the singing. Night comes, and they attend the Neon Classic. The club is full of party people, and Blair starts eyeing cute boys. Great music fills the venue, where intoxicated Jenny dances like crazy. She leads the girls to also groove to the beat. Suddenly, Jenny sees a familiar guy, Nate. He is dancing across them, and Jenny wants to get near. Aaron blocks her because talking to him again will only make her miserable. Aaron knows that Nate is one of the reasons why Jenny is motivated to find Neon Classic tickets. Aaron can't bear seeing her friend hurt, so she tries to stop her as much as possible. Similarly, Blair convinces Jenny to stay on their spot while she strokes her hair. Jenny whines and tells them she's a grown-up woman who can do what she wants. She is persistent as she moves away from Blair and Aaron. She also pleads with them to stop following her. Aaron reminds Jenny it is Nate who broke up with her, and she can't do anything about it. 
Jenny replies that Aaron has no idea how brokenhearted she was with Nate and will never understand her emotions. For Jenny, Aaron's actions don't make her feel like they are friends. Jenny and Aaron continue to argue, and their conversation sounds too personal for Blair. They are supposed to be having fun in Neon Classic, as Blair reminds them. Jenny doesn't listen and walks away. In the bathroom, Jenny texts Nate to talk to her, however, her phone falls into the toilet. Jenny has no choice but to speak to him personally. As she walks in his direction, the night when their relationship ended flashes back in her mind. With the series of arguments after landing a job at Rolling Stone, Nate was the one who ended the relationship. Jenny apologized for pursuing her dreams in San Francisco. For her, they can remain in love and try out a long-distance relationship. Nate doesn't like this setup and told her it's not about San Francisco anymore but because they need to grow apart. They have been inseparable since college, and he thinks it's better to separate ways. Jenny kissed him to change his mind. However, Nate pulled away and left her. Despite what happened, Jenny eagerly finds him from the crowd. She whispers, I love you, when their eyes meet, but Nate only looks at her. Jenny is embarrassed by this and realizes she can't fix their relationship anymore. She runs upstairs to gasp for air but finds Matt instead. Matt invites her to ride in his car since the event is over. Jenny refuses, thinking he is up for something. She reasons she can't reach Blair and Aaron inside because her phone broke. Matt offers to text them so that she can go with him. Jenny is emotional as she looks around the city because the good and bad times with Nate flash back in her mind. Meanwhile, at the after party, Aaron and Blair discover Jenny is gone. They try to reach her, but she doesn't pick up their call. Aaron shouts at Jenny in the voicemail, which Blair is unhappy about. For her, it's not right to yell at Jenny at this moment. Aaron replies Jenny needs to grow up, and screaming at her is correct. Blair reminds Aaron she also needs to act mature, confess to Lee, and be in a relationship. Aaron becomes emotional and hugs Blair after this. Jenny and Matt go to a bar where Jenny blames him for being brokenhearted with Nate. If only Matt had dated her in college, maybe she would not have met him. After breaking up with Nate, Rachel realizes her love for Matt back then is unreal. Because the pain he caused is nothing compared to how miserable she is over Nate. Matt replies she is blessed to have a broken heart because once she gets used to it, she will feel numb and eventually move on, like how she gets over her feelings for him in college. Jenny realizes something after hearing this. She asks Matt to inform Blair and Aaron that she will finally finish it. Meanwhile, Blair accompanies Aaron to Lee's apartment. Aaron decides to confess her feelings to Lee, so she puts loud music on Blair's ears. Blair is game on it because it's her dream to make Aaron happy. Lee has no idea what the girls are up to because they keep whispering. Finally, Aaron invites her to sit on the couch for a heart-to-heart -heart talk. Aaron reveals why it's hard for her to commit to a relationship. Back in college, she falls in love with a girl, and they are happy together. One day, her girlfriend became attracted to men, which devastated her so much. Aaron did not mention this to Blair or Jenny because they are straight women, and they may not understand her. Lee feels sorry for her and suggests they can take it slow. Aaron is delighted to hear this, and they exchange I love you after. In the subway car, Jenny is emotional as she writes a heartfelt message to Nate. This highlights the beautiful memories that will remain in her heart forever. Aaron and Blair return to the after party, where Matt is there. Aaron notices that Blair is nowhere to be found, and she freaks out to see her with Matt. Blair pushes Matt away because she's ashamed that Aaron saw them. She and Aaron are aware that Matt is Jenny's former crush, and this bothers her. Blair follows Aaron outside and asks her opinion on what Jenny will think if she knows about her and Matt. Aaron assures her that Jenny will understand this. She also congratulates Blair for making choices this time and taking risks to be happy. At that moment, they realize Jenny is missing. Aaron heard from Matt that she will go out and finish something. Blair figures out it has something to do with Nate, and a place immediately pops up in Aaron's mind. Jenny sits near the fountain at Washington Square Park, where her relationship with Nate started. Surprisingly, Nate arrives to apologize to her. He regrets breaking up, and he wants to take her back. Jenny is emotional as she looks at him, but it turns out it is only a dream. Aaron and Blair wake her up, and they are concerned that a robber might attack her while she sleeps. Jenny is grateful to the girls for taking a day off to comfort her. Blair admits her secret romance with Matt, which Jenny approves. She has no issue with this, unlike what Blair expected. Meanwhile, Jenny is delighted to hear that Aaron finally confessed her feeling to Lee. In the end, the girls walk away from the park, where they make a promise to keep their friendship stronger despite Jenny moving out for San Francisco. 